Hey everybody, um, we're outside on the path that leads to the pool and I'm just going to show you everything because it's really, really pretty and there's also like a hot tub and stuff and the pool's really huge so um, I'm just going to show you what it is. There was a lizard on the ground but it was really tiny so you couldn't see it and it like scurried into the bushes. Is the uh, the hot tub one over here? I don't know. Come on. Your mom said it was to the left. Okay. But I don't know if that means once you like go through the gate that's, or. That's probably more than one gate. I think this might be it. I don't know. Come on, Where? To the right. Yeah, you guys probably saw that one that time. There it is, right there. To the left. Where? Where's that about it? Where? Oh. <laughs> Tiny lizard. <laughs> okay. Anyway, back to uh, what we were doing. Um. Yeah, I'm sorry. We have, like, no idea where anything is right now. Stopped recording there for a minute because it was getting boring because I didn't know where anything was, but, um, I think we found it now, so. Okay, so tell me that's not, like, the most awesome thing you've ever seen in your life. Is it hot? That's convenient that they put a clock over there. Uh, oh, wow, that is hot. Um, okay, I'm just going to run over to the pool for a second. Okay, um, so basically, like, there's like a million different entrances to the pool. Okay, so if we come over here, there's more pool. There's a lot of lawn chairs. Yeah, the, the pool pretty much like stretches all the way around this entire like park area. And um, there's like these thin little parts that go underneath the bridges. And you can actually like go on a tube and go um, like, you know, tubing through them or whatever. But yeah, more pool over there. And now like I'm about to cross this bridge up here and the pool goes like underneath the bridge. So as you can see there's like pool down there. And then there's pool over there. Really fat palm tree. Some bamboo I think. More pool over there. So yeah, that's about it. Um, I'm going to go back inside and get my stuff so I can go to the uh, hot tub. So I will see you guys later. Okay, uh, the ground's really hot, so I, I, ow, I had to put my sandals on. Um, we just went in the pool, started in the big area at the top, and swam all the way around through those little um, tunnel passageways I told you about. They go under the bridges and stuff. Um, went through the entire maze all the way to the end, went back to where we started, and then got out. <laughs>
<laughs> now we're going to go to the um, to the hot tub. So if we can find it, uh, we'll meet you there. Not that you're going to be there, but whatever. Hey everybody, you probably can't hear me because the water's really loud, but we're in the hot tub right now. I don't think this is safe because the camera's like a foot away from water, but hopefully I don't shock myself and die. I'm wearing black swim trunks. They're cool. I don't know what else to say. We're in a hot tub. Here, you, here, you, uh, you can probably get a better view of me than I can. These are my pretty swim trunks. I got my swim trunks and my flippy floppies. I'm flipping burgers. You ain't keeping them straight. Flipping, flipping copies. Um, right now we're at um, this little, uh, I don't know what you call it, something del sol. It's got Caribbean something or other. Um, it's like a little cafe thing with jigger. And uh, we just ordered food. I'm heading with strawberry daiquiri right now. And uh, we're in the shade right now, but right out there is like where the pool was. And uh, we have a nice view. And then that's what it looks like inside, but you can't really see it because it's kind of dark. But it's a nice little tropical place, and we're enjoying ourselves cooling off. We're starting to dry off already from being in the hot tub in the pool. So um, We're going to eat our yummy food and drink our yummy drinks, and I bet you guys wish you were here. Um, so Kay Chan reminded me of this uh, story that I should probably tell you guys. Um, when I first got to the airport and we were checking our uh, luggage in to the place where they send the luggage out so we can get it when we arrive. Um, I w gave my luggage to the guy to put on the conveyor belt and uh, he looked down at my my clothes because I was wearing like a hot topic shirt and like trip pants and he saw all the chains and the metal on my pants and he burst out laughing and said you picked the wrong pants to wear today buddy and I was like, ha, 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 ha. And then we went to actually go through the airport security. <laughs> and he was right, because uh, you have to take off, like, everything, like, belts, shoes, anything in your pockets. You have to put it all in, like, these trays and, and, you know, pass them down the line. And then walk through the metal detector until it doesn't go off. And I was covered in metal, so they had to pull me aside and put me in a separate booth and a guy with uh, rubber gloves came. That was kind of creepy, um, you know, to make sure that everything was okay. But in the end, I got, you know, all my stuff back and got to, you know, um, get on the plane and everything fine. But everybody was like, yeah, don't wear those pants when we go <laughs> take the plane home because we'll kill you. So I'm not going to wear my trip pants to the airport again. But um, that was kind of funny, I guess, or disturbing. But, um, yeah, so that's the moral of the story. Don't wear crip pants to the airport.